This was such a great live. This is actually, we're going on our third hour of this live. Uh, once Josie comes back up, I'll bring her back on. We were, uh, if you're late and joining us now, we did a makeup look. It was a um, neutral look, kind of sunsetty look. Uh, fertility right now. I was trying to rush down the answer, but Josie, you know, made a really good point about let's just... <laughs> Let's just restart in the live. So that's what we're doing. We give it a, like a few minutes for people to come back on. Um, the so we've done our makeup look and now we are talking infertility a little bit. So waiting for everyone to come back. If you have questions, guys, post it below. Um, I think this has been such a really good session. I enjoyed it a lot, actually. Yeah, it was amazing. I'm really upset that I have nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> but I will probably make a video, an educational video in the interim because I can't look so good and waste this look. So. I'm going to do some TikToks and some photos. Okay, yes. And if your question is private, you could send me a private message. As I tell people, my DM is equivalent to a text message. I will read it and I will respond. So don't feel ashamed to message me uh, privately if you don't want to put your question out. But if you have a question that you think it's fine to you to be answered in public, that's you know perfectly fine as well. Um, I'm always here and I love educating. I like teaching. I like talking about obstetrics, gynecology, and infertility. It is my passion. So don't feel any way to ask these questions. I'm glad to answer it. Hmm? Yeah. I mean, I wish I, a little I wish I had the brain capacity to be a doctor. I don't, um, by the way. <laughs> I wish I had the capacity because I would want to help women, especially in our community. I feel like, you know, growing up, especially being Trinidadian, we were like asking something about your vagina was a crime. Or it's like, very taboo. <laughs> yeah, like you didn't have that relationship with your parents where you could ask them a question because, you know, they were strict and things like that. So I think we also so need break that cycle. No, that's exactly why I started this Instagram account. As you know, I do have a personal account that's um, private. But the reason I started this public account is because I felt that a lot of people are not getting the right information on reproductive health, encompassing obstetrics, gynecology, and infertility. And especially people in our community, in like the African-American or African anything, African-Caribbean, African-Africans, our community really doesn't get as much information as we should. And we're not really privy to the access of the fertility services. We're not as privy to reproductive health services. So really, in this community, you feel that like a lot of people suffer from lack of knowledge and not having the access to care that we should. So that's why I decided to have this page. Obviously, I'm open to everyone, but I really wanted to make sure that it was reaching everyone literally the information yeah. was reaching everyone so yeah. that's why i really wanted to do this i mean i'm very proud um as much you know I, i'm happy that you're inclusive and you think about everyone um but you know our our community is we lack you know we are not fortunate to have a black doctor who could relate to our bodies and you know i think black women go through so much different things from other races um you know with our vagina and fibroids and all of these things i feel like we are prone to to different things you right. know and um to have somebody that you could relate to i think that's very very important so thank you for going to school and <laughs> gracing us with your knowledge and all of those things um we definitely should do this again um and we could yeah come up with different ways to make it interactive and exciting thank you to everybody who joined in um i hope you guys had fun um i hope that you learned something you know about fertility or infertility um makeup whatever the case may be thank you chanel you are the sweetest and your makeup was awesome <laughs> You did a fantastic job, all of you doubted yourself. Just remember, you are the pro. It's your canvas. 
So you know your face best. So never doubt yourself. Always be positive. The lash will always go on. I, I love that. The lash <laughs> did go on. <laughs> yes, it looks really nice. It looks really, really nice. What is a fertility what? doctor perform? So for infert like uh the exact specialty is called reproductive endocrinology and infertility. I'm still working my way to actually finish my credentials in that specific field, but I do work in it. So I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist and all infertility doctors are originally initially sorry, obstetrician and gynecologist, but then you focus your aim into dealing with patients um who have difficulty getting pregnant and helping them. So a lot of the front things like polycystic ovarian syndrome fibroid um different genetic makeup can cause infertility even like having a previous std like gonorrhea chlamydia to block your fallopian tubes and cause infertility so these are the things that infertility doctors specifically deal with to help patients get pregnant our day to day run apart from seeing patients and like guiding them we do ultrasounds specific to uterus and the ovary and then we also um stimulate the ovary to make way more follicles so your body naturally makes one follicle per month but you will eventually ovulate and if you don't get pregnant you have your period in the fertility world we try to stimulate way more follicles than one so depending on your age we can get like 20 30 40 50 younger people get way more the older you are you get less the younger you are you can get more and then we do an ultrasound through the vagina and we actually take all those eggs out through a needle through the vagina um most people are sleepless but the sense i worked for before actually we have patients who would be awake um, absolutely not <laughs> you get anesthesia you get anesthesia local anesthesia <laughs> oh, no i don't want to be up. i don't want to hear anything <laughs> Being up actually is kind of cool because uh we project the egg onto the screen and you can actually see oh. your eggs. Like oh, we have like wow. a microscope magnifying it and the patients who are awake could actually see their eggs on that screen. So I think it's kind of cool. Obviously if you have less eggs to get it's easier to be up. If you have way more it's obviously you can be asleep. So when we get the egg and we have it outside We have a specialist called an embryologist who will now fertilize your egg outside and we can grow this egg from up, up to up to 3 to 7 days depending on how old you are and how your egg is growing and after 7 wow. days we have a decision are we going to freeze it to use at a later time or are we going to transfer it and put it back into you and get you pregnant if you choose to transfer it we now um transfer it through the vagina into the uterus through your cervix into the uterus and then you know hopefully you get pregnant then so that is like what i do um now on a daily basis and as an obstetrician and gynecologist obstetric is the field where you deal with pregnant patients gynecologist is dealing with the female reproduction without the aspect of pregnancy so that's more or less a nutshell of what you're doing very is. very important job <laughs> And it's very fun and rewarding like especially knowing that you can help people during their most distressing time and it's a time to where honestly it's a very intimate and private time for most couples so to be able to be there and to like know such personal information about people and being able to help them through it it is rewarding to see like you know the smiles when we get success yeah all right well rashida i hope that answered your question Um we just wanted to close off and thank you guys again. Um again if you guys have any questions about makeup or about facility in facility reach out to Janelle. The live will be on Janelle's page if you want to rewatch or if you want to send it to somebody. Unfortunately, it's like three lives because we were having so much fun. <laughs> um, this was so cool. We had a fun moment, learning moment. Um so thanks Jay and I hope to do this again with you soon. Definitely. Thank you everyone for coming out. At the end don't forget send us your pictures. Send us your pictures. One person is going home with $100 worth of makeup today. Well, not going home. You're already home. <laughs> You're already home but one person is going to get $100 worth of makeup. All right. Let's send us your pictures. Thank you so much and look out for more events to come um from both of us. So see you. If you have any questions for either one of us that wasn't answered before, you can message us and we'll get to it, okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye.
Bye bye. Bye guys. Bye bye.